Cheapest Places to Live in Ontario, 2022, A Detailed Guide. In this post, I'm going to discuss the cheapest places to live in Ontario in 2022. So, which are the cheapest places to live in Ontario? The cheapest places to live on Ontario are Coburg, Thunder Bay, Trenton, Stratford, Windsor Essex, Niagara Region, London and the St. Thomas Region, Orillia, Suestee Marie, Hamilton, Innisfil. Note that just because you're on a tight budget doesn't mean you can't have fun. Finding excellent deals, including where to live, is one of the most enjoyable aspects of living on a budget. Isn't it all about the location? If you live in Ontario, here are cheapest places to live that won't put a hole in your pocket. You're in luck if you're seeking an economical location to live in Ontario with plenty of facilities. Coburg. Coburg is a tiny town located an hour east of Toronto on the shores of Lake Ontario. It is well known for its parks and beaches, making it a popular tourist destination. Coburg has a population of less than 15,000 people, however because of its proximity to Toronto, there are plenty of work opportunities. Coburg might be your best bet if you're seeking for a more cheap place to live in Ontario. The cost of living in Coburg is inexpensive when compared to other parts of Canada. The average monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Coburg is $1,250, compared to an average monthly rent of $2,300 across Ontario. Thunder Bay Thunder Bay is the cheapest location to live in Ontario, which may surprise you. However, this city on the shores of Lake Superior has some disadvantages. The minimum wage is still $11.25 per hour, and the unemployment rate is greater than in most of the other places on our list. Thunder Bay has one of the lowest cost of living in Ontario, albeit it isn't quite as cheap as Windsor. Trenton Trenton, Ontario's second cheapest city, is the second cheapest place to live in the province. Since its founding in 1855, the city's population has grown from 5,000 to more over 14,000 inhabitants. Trenton is about two hours west-northwest of Toronto, and it has a significant airport that connects it to other major Canadian and American cities. The average annual salary in this city is $41,084, making it relatively affordable to live there. Stratford while this small town lacks some of the attractions offered in larger towns such as Toronto or Ottawa, such as museums or concert halls, it does provide breathtaking scenery and for less than $1,000 per month on average. During your stay, you'll be able to attend festivals such as Shakespeare by the Sea. Windsor Essex A one-bedroom apartment costs on average $836 per month. A two-bedroom apartment costs an average of $1,015. A three-bedroom apartment costs an average of $1,227 per month. A four-bedroom apartment costs $1,430 on average. Niagara Region The Niagara Region is one of Ontario's best locations to live. It has reasonable accommodation, plenty of employment, and much to do and see but it's probably the last location you'd expect to have a good time late at night. The Niagara Falls are a popular tourist destination. The city also hosts a number of fantastic festivals, such as the Winter Festival of Lights and the Blues Fest Niagara Falls, which attract visitors from all around Ontario. If you're seeking for a job after graduation, the Niagara region boasts multiple universities, including Brock University, which trains healthcare professionals such as nurses, physiotherapists, and occupational therapists. London and the St. Thomas region London and the St. Thomas region are seeing population and house price growth, but not at the same rate as Ottawa or Toronto. This implies that inexpensive housing is still available, you just have to seek a little more than in other areas. The job economy is improving as well, though not to the extent that it is in Toronto or Ottawa. If you're ready to commute into either city on a daily basis or take advantage of some of the smaller businesses that have recently started up shop in London, you'll find plenty of well-paying positions here, like Uber. New transit hubs are opening up around town, 
and bus service has considerably increased since 2022. When we did our last study. However, if your job isn't close by, public transportation options may be limited, so prepare beforehand. Aurelia. There isn't a city in Ontario that has more to offer than Aurelia. The famous Lake Simcoe waterfront and its winter wonderland, which includes tobogganing, ice skating, and snowshoeing routes, are located here. Shopping at Gooseberry Creek and Nellie G's Dry Goods Company, pubs like the Station House Tavern or 4th Street Bar and Grill, and restaurants like Tando Reclay Oven Cuisine or Good Earth Natural Foods Cafe and Restaurant are all available in the downtown center. You may live in elegance without breaking the bank. The average monthly rent for an apartment is around $900. Sue Ste Marie Sault Ste. Marie is the most affordable city in Ontario. Sault Ste. Marie, located in northern Ontario, is surrounded by beautiful scenery and offers a variety of tourist attractions. Sault Ste. Marie was once a thriving industrial city, but it is now known for its natural beauty rather than its industry. It's one of those areas where you can go on vacation without feeling like you're sacrificing beauty for cost effectiveness. In fact, the natural scenery is almost certain to trump any cost savings you may gain from living here. Hamilton Hamilton is one of the most affordable cities in Ontario, thanks to low housing costs and a flourishing art scene. With a population of over 500,000 people and McMaster University, this city offers lots of cultural diversity. It also serves as a major transit hub for train lines, buses, and highways, making it simple to travel around the region. Innisfil Innisfil is a town in Ontario, Canada. It is located in Simcoe County. It's a part of the Greater Toronto Area, GTA. At the time of the 2016 census, the population was 60,722. On January 1, 1999, the old township of Esquising and the majority of the village of Bradford West Gwillimbury merged to establish the town of Innisfil. It was one of only two municipalities in Ontario at the time to be established through a municipal incorporation order issued under Section 437 of the Municipal Act. This law allows for the formation of new municipalities from unincorporated areas by giving them powers similar to those possessed by existing municipalities in the region. Ontario Ontario is a province with a wide range of landscapes. It has large towns with skyscrapers as well as rural natural locations. The province of Ontario is one of Canada's 13 provinces and territories. The province of Ontario is one of Canada's 13 provinces and territories. It's in the heart of the country, between the Great Lakes and Quebec. Toronto, the province's capital and most populated city with a population of 2.7 million people. With a population of almost 13 million people, Ontario is by far the most populous province in Canada. The second largest province is Alberta. It is Canada's most populous province, accounting for 38.3% of the country's population, and the second largest in terms of total area. Ontario is a Canadian province in the centre of the country. It is Canada's most populous and second-largest province in terms of land size, accounting for 39% of the country's total land area. Over 13 million people live in Ontario, with about 9% of them being foreign-born. The province of Ontario offers many attractions that attract travelers from all around the world. Niagara Falls, for example is one of North America's most well-known waterfalls, with three different falls totaling more than 165 feet, 50 meters. When the territories of the Northwest Territories and Nunavut are included, Ontario is the fourth largest jurisdiction in terms of total area. When the territories of the Northwest Territories and Nunavut are included, Ontario is the fourth largest jurisdiction in terms of total area. The land area of Ontario is 851,628 kilometers to 331,087 square miles, whereas the water area is 740 kilometers to 290 square miles. It is bordered on the south by Lake Erie, on the east by Hudson Bay, James Bay, and Quebec, on the west by Manitoba with whom it shares a 504 kilometer, 313 mile boundary 
and on the north by Hudson Strait and Ungava Bay. To complete its border with Quebec, Ontario shares a 20-mile inland water border with the province. There are about 200 lakes in the province that are greater than 40 square kilometers, 10 square miles, including Lake Superior, which is 31,531 kilometers to 12,917 square miles. There are many options for boating enthusiasts to enjoy themselves here, with these enormous bodies of water on all sides but one. Ottawa, the nation's capital, and Toronto, the country's most populated metropolis and Ontario's provincial capital, are both located here. Ottawa, the nation's capital, and Toronto, the country's most populous metropolis, are both located in Ontario. Several other major cities, such as Hamilton and Windsor, are located in the province. The National Parks of Canada are also found in Ontario, and they are a popular tourist attraction for both Canadians and international visitors. Ontario is bordered on the west by Manitoba, on the north by Hudson Bay and James Bay, on the east and northeast by Quebec, and on the south by the United States states of Minnesota, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York, from west to east. Ontario is Canada's most populous province, accounting for 39.6% of the country's total population. It's also the second largest province in terms of overall area, with 909,365 kilometers to encompassing slightly over half of Canada's landmass, 352,000 square miles. Ontario is home to the nation's capital, Ottawa, and its largest city, Toronto, which together account for around 37% of the province's total population. To the west, Manitoba. To the north, Quebec. To the east, New York State. Michigan and Ohio on the south side of Lake Erie. And the St. Lawrence Seaway, which provides access to the Atlantic Ocean via the St. Lawrence River shipping route. Ontario is a huge Canadian province with both rural and urban areas, including Toronto. Ontario is a huge Canadian province with both rural and urban areas, including Toronto. Ottawa is Ontario's capital, as well as the province's largest city and economic centre. Ontario is home to 13 million people and spans over 1 million square miles. It is the province with the second largest overall area, first if you include Nunavut. It also accounts for one-third of Canada's population and a quarter of the country's GDP.